Hello, everybody. How's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's just sit back, relax, have some fun, and play some Vampire Survivors, shall we? I'm ready. So, I've tried the different characters, I've had fun with them. Um, you know, what's interesting... <laughs> I'm thinking about who I want to pick, basically. I'd love to unlock this guy at some point. Emilda, it says, gains 10% more experience every five levels, max of 30%. So that means, basically, for the first three levels, she gets 10% more experience. But then after that, that's it. Like, it's locked, right? Um, so that seems a little confusing. And then the same thing here, uh, but this guy only gets it every 10 levels up so he has to be level 50 to get full yield um every five levels so like you could get to what once you're level 15 you're no longer getting any more and hers is the same way so it's really like what do i want to attack with i do like the whip but i'm just going to keep bouncing around trying things out again so let's you know just to go in order we'll do pascalina and let's go Shoot him. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's the good stuff right there. Oh, there it is. All right. We. Um. Now let's get an axe going. The axe just will rip these guys apart when I throw it. And you can kind of plan the axe, you know, you know that things are going to come above or below you. So you just keep the enemies to the north and south with the axe. Mm -hmm. And it wrecks things, so that's good. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. Um, I'll get the Santa water like I've been doing. I really like to have, um, you know, as many things going as I can. Another projectile for the axe does sound really tempting. Uh-oh. That was bad. I'll just keep this party going. Yeah, the holy water wrecking things. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Look at all that beautiful treasure. Yeah. Well, hmm. I pretty much can't say no to the King Bible. It might be one of my favorite. It's not the best, like, starting out, but it really does help. Oh, there we go. Alright, um, I like the Fire Wand too. Alright, so we've got a lot of different attacks brewing already. A lot of strong things happening. Wow, the fire wand, they, they don't disappear until they hit something. That's pretty good. Oh, let's get this. Oh, we got something. Maybe a coin. Alright, let's get all this treasure. Here co Oh, here comes the wave, but we're way out in front of the wave this time. We did get the imp increased uh, movement speed, and that's pretty sweet. Oh god, here comes more. All right. Get that garlic going. Now we've got it. We've got so much uh, AoE just around us. This is fantastic. All right, I'm going to go back. Now, I really want to get through these enemies. If I could get a shield, uh, that would be tremendous. go um 
Wow, I'm gonna go with the upgraded garlic. Just try to clear a path here for myself. Great. So at this point, uh, any of these things are pretty good. Uh, let's get another axe. Axe is just terrific damage. Sweeps the screen. We need to start getting some sustained abilities, though. Armor or uh, shield, something like that. All right. Well, darn. I was going to get... I mean, the, the hollow heart seems pretty good, but I can't really deny spinach. It's just that 10% boost to every single attack we have is outrageous. Here's a treasure chest. Yes, go for it. Okay, axe. That's pretty good. Thank you. What do we got? Base damage up by 20. Holy cannoli. Look at these axes. They're flying out. Yeah, the damage numbers are red from the axe because it's just so much damage. Ooh, we're attacking again. Um, boy. Base damage up by 10% again just seems good for every single thing that we do. Alright. They're starting to surround me a little bit more diligently, so they're moving a little faster. I got hit there. I overestimated the strength of my garlic. Look at all this. Yes. Oh my goodness. More spinach. I just can't say no. Oh, the axe passes through two more enemies. I mean, I'm just going to keep saying yes to the uh, spinach until it's maxed out. It's so much damage. Look, my axe is now, you know, just doing 50, 55 damage per hit. Yep, and we cleared out the flowers. Go, go, go. Something about the gem collecting in this game, it reminds me of there was an add-on, or a mod, I should say, for Warcraft 3 that was called Gem Tower Defense that I loved playing, and you would do you would collect gems to make different towers and build a maze. It was uh, a lot of fun. And there's a little bit of similarity in the automation here. Okay. Um, I'm really excited about the axe passing through more enemies. I just think that if I get more hits with it, you know, um, that that's tremendous. Because it's one of my primary sources of damage. Rune Tracer is nice and all, 
but it doesn't fire that fast. just in time. Yeah, I was starting to get surrounded. When you feel like you're getting surrounded, even if there's gems, you just kind of got to look for a little clearing for yourself. Yep, because here comes a wave, and if I don't go over this way, I, I did get hit, but it could have been way worse. Yep. Yep, we're going to... It's Our real estate is starting to become precious. Alright. Oh, there's a treasure. Our axe has finally killed this dude. Yes! Open. Ooh, what's the axe at this level do? Oh, another projectile. Unbelievable. Three axes that pass through enemies. Yeah, now we have a really good, like, baseline of damage coming out, and it feels tremendous. Oh boy, ow, 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 ow. Alright. Wow. Okay, we gotta move. Go, go, go. They're coming. Watch out for these waves. There's going to be another one coming at some point here. we got to be ready for it. Yep, there it is. Ah, I got stuck. There we go. We made it. Between the trees. Yes! Well, it's like I said. Spinach. It says increase your luck to get four choices. So, I think in the... Uh, like roguelite permanent passive bonuses that you can get. You can increase your luck so you get more control over what you get by boosting that up. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna let the enemies congregate here while I'm not trapped for a moment. Try to kill this guy, get a treasure chest. All right, and then now it's time to move. I don't wanna get boxed in. All right. I'm going to try to sweep back around and maybe get that treasure. Yeah, because we aren't exactly getting a ton of experience right here anymore. There we go. Ow. Yeah, this, these enemies are getting a little bit harder. I see. Uh huh. I'm always looking for food from some of these lanterns. Oh, here come the uh, plants. All right, that's not ideal. So I don't know what kills them. If it's just like a certain amount of damage that you do. Oh God, this is bad. There we go. We're stacking up some really difficult enemies. Okay, I can get through right here, actually. Ah! I didn't... I got stuck on that tree, just like the, the flower did, the plant did, so... It could have been a lot worse. I'll tell you that much. Uh, we're level 14... Okay. Uh, we need another Bible for sure. When you start getting this many Bibles, things start happening. Oh my god. What is this? Am I meant to defeat this? Okay, I got it. Sort of. I'm gonna just take damage. 
but I really haven't found any, um... any armor or shields. I didn't see too many of that stuff offered of those types of items. So now I just have to keep moving and praying that my AoE will clear a spot for me, but it's becoming increasingly tenuous to do something like that. And I don't see any reprieve. Like, I don't see um, anything happening to help me. I'm going to just increase my axe damage and pray that my axes can just cleave a path, but yeah, this is when the game is starting to become insane. Like, there's no... These guys aren't stopping. Food? Anyone? Alright, here we go. Sort of a little lane here. Alright, phew. That was diabolical. Alright, I need to... I've got my regen going, but I really, really need uh, to just try to loop back around, pick up the gems that I've missed, and find some food. There's a treasure up there, is what it's telling me. So if I could, you know, work up to it, that would be helpful. There could be food here. Nope. Boy, these werewolves are strong. All right, here we go. So now we're kind of coming back into some of our uh, path of destruction. Um, uh, we'll just keep boosting the Bibles. More area, faster, more damage, all that stuff. Great. Ho ho, Bible, thank you. What did we get? Last a little bit longer and the base damage up by 10. Oh man, that's awesome. All right, so now, yeah, our Bible is uh, doing damage in the 30s. Our axes is doing, are doing damage in the 90s. Ooh, they're swirling in though from every angle. Mm. Ah, oh no, oh no, I'm, I'm totally trapped. Okay. That was crazy. But we did a good job. I mean, honestly. Let's see here. All right, so... We got to level 17, I think, there. Mad Forest normal. God, I'm only on the Mad Forest. Like, I never made it beyond that. Are there more levels that are going to happen? Uh, oh, look at this. This is really interesting. I haven't paid much attention to this, but you can see how much damage each of your weapons did. Uh, and honestly, like from a breakdown like this, look at the axes, DPS 97.7 and 75.2 K damage. Now, granted, it's my highest level weapon, but there's some other things that I really want to pay attention to. And, um, some of them are this, first of all, the Bible, which I love so much, it, it only lists as 6.1 K damage. Uh, and I had it for a long time and it was level four. So maybe the Bible isn't as good as I think. You know, I love the fact that it attacks around you. Like, its function is really good. Its damage just isn't high. This, the Holy Water, not so good. The Fire Wand, very good. Level 1, and it outperformed even my basic weapon. I didn't even have it the whole game. Uh, the Garlic, also, not that much damage. You know, decent, okay... Maybe if you add everything together, but it really helps you maybe try to figure out which ones are the best. Uh, and so that's that's useful. And I'm going to go ahead and power up. Now we have 446, so we could just buy damage, right, which is always useful. Uh, let's see if we have anything else that we might want to get. No. Faster projectiles. Um... More health isn't exactly, like, what I'm needing. Okay, um, I think then... Let's just buy some more damage. Start off with some more damage. That feels good.
Awesome. Okay, so we had a good run. We we did a little bit more. We got some coins, and we're rocking and rolling. Uh, that was a one of my longest runs ever, and I'm happy about it. And I like. Uh, I'm gonna start paying more attention to that screen after the battle, where you can see like what weapon was you know your your MVP. To just, I know raw DPS isn't everything, right? But it helps you indicate, you know, maybe isolate what weapons are more effective. And uh, th that can help me prioritize better. All right, everyone. I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an excellent evening or day, and I'll check you next time. Take care.